Hey friends, my name is Lenise. Welcome back to my channel. I'm excited to share with you guys today a little quarantine project that we have been working on. I'm super excited. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how I created this little coffee area here. So a question that I get asked frequently on Instagram is where I got the floating shelves under my TV in my living room and I actually made them. So in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to make a DIY floating shelf. So the shelves were like super easy to make and very affordable. I've known some people who have actually paid like $200 for these floating shelves. You can actually DIY this yourself and it comes out to be super affordable. So the first step to creating these shelves is picking out the type of wood you want to use. I went to Lowe's and that's where I found every single supply I needed for this whole project. They have a huge selection of lumber you can choose the size and the thickness of the wood that you want. I decided to go with these. They were less than $11. The second step is to sand down your piece of wood. We used a handheld sander to be able to do that. Make sure that you do the step, don't skip it. It's very important to be able to have the stain stick well to it. Next, we stained the wood. Make sure when you're doing this to use gloves because it can also stain your hands. I also used a rag to be able to spread the stain on evenly. This is the wood finish that we decided to use. I love that the stain brought out the character of the wood. It came out so beautiful. You can choose to put a finishing gloss over it. I chose to leave it as is, but then you just leave it to dry for a little bit and then the shelf is ready to hang. I used brackets from Amazon. I'll link it down below. It came with a set of four for under $30. So that's it guys. That's how you make the DIY floating shelves. You can save so much money doing it yourself and it's a fun project to be able to get your hands into. Next, I'm gonna show you guys all of the details of how I transformed this little area of my apartment from this to this. So stay tuned. So what inspired me to do this little area is because I was looking around and it just looked super white and super like washed out, not really any color, nothing was sticking out and I knew I wanted to have like a staple piece in our home. The first thing that we did is change the curtains. There was a couple things that came with this. So we kept our original curtain rods which were actually from Ikea and we just spray painted them black. That was the first step to bring in a pop of color and just some boldness to the area. We also lifted the curtain rods a lot higher so that it could add more space to the area. So it just felt like we just gave ourselves a few more inches up just by lifting up the curtain rods. So the next thing I did was change the actual curtains. These are from Ikea. The other ones I had were from Target. I just felt like this added a little bit more of the neutral tones that I was actually going for. With the curtain rods being like up higher and change the curtains and the curtain rods being black, I feel like it added a little bit more character to the area. So the next thing I did was probably like one of my favorite things. When I saw these, I was like, I knew I had to have them and I knew that it would be like the perfect place for them. So I grabbed these baskets. These are actual baskets, um, decorative baskets. These two are from the at-home store and these two are actually placemats from Ikea. So all we did was um, I figured out what placement I really wanted it in and then we nailed them to the wall. Super simple, super easy. I feel like it adds such a huge difference to the area. This car is actually from Ikea and um, it's super easy to build. I love the color of the wood and it's actually really affordable. So what I did with it is I decided to like organize this area down here. These two things are actually from TJ Maxx and I think they were only $9.99 each. And then down here I kept these bins are from Ikea as well and these I just keep my cookbooks in. And this one is like extra placemats, extra table runners, and things like that. I like to have things that are 
uh, cute but functional so these are actually holding the kids activities and then these are jelly draws last but not least I'm gonna give you guys the details for these things that I have on top of here this is the ninja coffee machine it was actually gifted to us we actually really love it because I can make like the cappuccinos as I showed you guys and then right here I love this basket I got it from Marshall's I feel like it went so well with this area and then the thing that I did that I feel like changed this space up the most, I changed everything from its original packaging, plastic packaging, into these glass containers. This is the coffee. Um, I got these containers. It came in a set of three. And I got it from Amazon. I love that it's glass and it has bamboo. This is actually hand sanitizer and we just keep it here because it's in the middle of our house and we use it often. So I took it out of the original plastic container and I put it in this glass container. I got it from Target. I think it was only like $12. And the last but not least thing I absolutely love about this entire area are my plants. So this quarantine, I have been obsessed with being a plant mom. I am a new plant mom. And these are actually all of my plant babies. So most of these plants I got it from my friend Carissa. She is from Soil and Sun. I'll tag her down below. She has the most amazing plants and she's super helpful with helping me like keep up with the plant and make sure that I'm doing it. She's like my plant doctor. So I check in with her. We have FaceTime calls and everything. She's amazing. So you guys should definitely check her out. These plants, I feel like they added the greenery. They added the color. They added so much life to the area. So I am actually in love with all of them. I can't wait to get more. Yes, friends, this is it. That is all of the details for this area. I hope you guys like this video. If you do, give it a thumbs up, comment down below, and subscribe. I am excited to continue to make more videos like this. If you guys see anything on Instagram that you want more details on, let me know, and I will gladly share that with you guys. So yeah, this is it, and I will see you guys in my next video.